My fellow British Columbians, these are uncertain times for the global economy. Your government will continue to stand up for BC, for British Columbians, and for the communities and industries that not only built this province, but to sustain our prosperity. Forestry is a crucial industry for British Columbia and the thousands of men and women who depend on it. And while the industry continues to thrive, there are serious disagreements with our largest trading partner, the expired softwood lumber agreement and the unfair US Department of Commerce ruling on Catalyst. Both present a real risk to jobs. Your government will work with its federal counterparts to renew the softwood agreement and press for a full investigation of Catalyst to confirm they have received no government subsidies. The men and women who depend on BC's mining sector are under threat from low prices for copper and coal, but they are also under threat from internal critics looking for an opportunity to see the industry closed. To those among us who would look down on mining, I would say this. Every consumer electronics product you own, every transmission line that connects the world to clean solar or hydropower, each is only possible with materials mined in British Columbia. Your government has introduced several measures to help the men, women, and entire communities who depend on, BC, on the BC mining sector. Your government will also keep working towards securing the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, which will create enormous new opportunities for British Columbia and work with all members of this legislature to ensure we speak with one voice. Getting to yes on economic development does not mean cutting corners or bowing to external pressure. In the province that invented the concept of social license, it means working with communities to ensure their concerns are addressed and with proponents to help address them. That is why your government will continue to stand up for BC with the five conditions for heavy oil pipelines to ensure that any proposal achieves regulatory approvals, to ensure we have world-leading spill response on our coast and on our land, to make sure First Nations are participants, and to make sure BC rece receives our fair share. 